there are a few special cases that might come up with solving systems of equation by substitution. As we solve, if the variables subtract out completely to zero, it means there is either no solution, or there are infinite solutions. that can make the system of equations true. Let's take a look at some examples and see what we can find out. In this problem, we see a lone variable, x. We get that lone variable alone by subtracting 4y from both sides. This gives us x is equal to negative 7 minus 4y. This expression is what we can replace the x with in the other equation. We have 21 plus 3x, which is negative 7 minus 4y, equals negative 12y. We start by distributing through the parentheses. 21 minus 21 minus 12y is equal to negative 12y. Combining like terms, we end up with simply negative 12y equals negative 12y. We can't divide by a variable, so we must add 12y to both sides, so our variables are on the same side. As we do, we notice the variables subtract out completely, and we end up with 0 equals 0. 0 does equal 0, this is a true statement. Because this statement is true, that tells us there are an infinite number of solutions that make the systems of equations true. Here we say there are infinite solutions. In other words, any pair of numbers that makes the first equation true will also make the second equation true. Let's try another example where our variable seems to subtract out completely as we interpret what that means. In this next problem, again we find a lone variable, y. To get it completely alone, we must subtract the 5x from both sides. This tells us that y is equal to 3 minus 5x which means this is what we can replace the y with in the other equation. 8 minus 3y, which is now 3 minus 5x, is equal to 15x. Again, we'll start by distributing through the parentheses and get 8 minus 9 plus 15x equals 15x. Combining like terms, 8 minus 9 is negative 1, plus 15x equals 15x. Again, as we solve, we want the variable all on one side. We'll subtract 15x from both sides. As we do, we notice the variable subtracts out completely. We're left with negative 1 on the left side of the equation, and nothing, or 0, on the right side. We end up with the equation negative 1 equals 0. But we know this is not true. This is false. Negative 1 never equals 0. What this tells us is the original system of equations will never be true working together. If something works in one equation, it will not work in the other equation. We say there is no solution. If we end up with a false statement as the variables subtract out, there is no solution. If we end up with a true statement, it means there are infinite solutions.